Dear investors, welcome back to my channel. Today, we have important topic to delve into, India's nuclear doctrine. India, as a responsible nuclear power, has a well-defined approach to its nuclear weapons. We will be exploring the key aspects of its doctrine, the principles guiding its nuclear policy and how it aims to maintain regional and global peace through deterrence. But before we begin, if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you won't miss any of our future content. Now, let's dive in. To understand India's nuclear doctrine, let's take a brief look at its historical context. India conducted its first nuclear test and used the code name Smiling Buddha in 1974. However, it was only in 1998 that India publicly declared itself as a nuclear weapons state by conducting a series of nuclear tests. This event marked a significant shift in India's approach to nuclear weapons. No first use policy. One of the core principles of India's nuclear doctrine is the no first use policy. The NFU policy means that India pledges not to be the first to use nuclear weapons in any conflict. This policy is seen as a measure to reduce the risk of nuclear escalation and emphasizes India's commitment to using nuclear weapons solely as a deterrent against aggression. Credible Minimum Deterrence Another key pillar of India's nuclear doctrine is the principle of credible minimum deterrence. This term refers to maintaining a nuclear arsenal that is sufficient to deter potential adversaries from considering any nuclear aggression against India. The idea is not to engage in an arms race or amass a vast nuclear stockpile but to pose a credible and effective deterrent. Non-use against non-nuclear states India's nuclear doctrine also states that it will not use nuclear weapons against non-nuclear weapon states. This reaffirms India's commitment to using nuclear capabilities solely for self-defense and not as a tool to intimidate or coerce non-nuclear states. Retaliation and Second Strike Capability To ensure the effectiveness of its deterrent, India has developed a second strike capability. This means that even if India's nuclear arsenal is subjected to a first strike by an adversary, it retains the ability to retaliate with a devastating nuclear response. This ensures that any potential aggressor will think twice before launching a nuclear attack. Global Disarmament Efforts Beyond its national commitments, India has been actively involved in advocating global nuclear disarmament. It believes in the ultimate goal of a world free from nuclear weapons and has consistently supported international efforts to achieve this objective. India's participation in various disarmament forums reflects its responsible approach to nuclear issues. In short, India's approach is based on the principles of no first use, credible minimum deterrence and a commitment to global disarmament. It seeks to maintain peace and stability, both regionally and globally, through responsible nuclear policies. India knows that nuclear weapons are a grave responsibility and their purpose should always be to prevent conflict rather than to provoke it. We hope this video helped shed some light on India's nuclear doctrine. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with others. Also, let us know in the comments if there are other topics you'd like us to cover in future videos. Thank you for watching and until next time, stay curious and keep learning.